Hazel is desperate to find out if John is her biological father. But her stepmother, Christina, says that a DNA test is the least of their problems because she thinks they are in a sexual relationship and that John might be the father of Hazel's son. I'm, I'm losing my husband to, to Hazel. She calls five times a day, and he's over there five times a day. And it's too much. If it ain't nothing going on, why is that happening? He sneaks over, lies to me, he's over there. And then when I call him, I ask where he's at. Oh, I'll be home, don't worry about it. I'm your wife. I don't go nowhere. When Hazel's mother passed away, John was told that he was Hazel's father. And then he didn't want to believe it at first, and he did want to believe it, but I took her in. I raised her myself. My relationship with Hazel is not very good. She feels that me and her dad should not be together. It should be just her and her father. But I feel is that we've been married. She's an adult. She should do her thing. Leave me and her dad alone. Hazel's friend told me that Hazel told her while she was drinking that something happened between her and her father. She didn't understand if it was sexual or not, but she fronted me, so I fronted John. And when I pull him aside to talk to him, we get arguments about it. Or she'll jump in my face and we'll get fights about it. She will strip in front of her dad, sit on his lap in her underwear, and rub his head and stuff. That's not normal for a 15, 16 year old kid to do with her father, if it's her father. The other week we were over there, we visit, she stripped on the porch, ran in the house. Who does that? If John and his daughter had intercourse or anything like that, John could be Hazel's baby's father. It makes me very angry because I'm really close to that baby. Really close. I've been there from the birth. I stayed in the hospital with that baby when it was sick. Hazel needs to know that I'm not going to put up with no more phone calls five times a day. Dad be over the house five times a day. He, if he is the grandpa, if he's not the father, he needs to understand. Grandpa is grandpa. Father is a father. There is a part of me, and Hazel is aware of it too, that the possibility does arise that maybe I'm not her biological father. It makes me feel terrible. She has nothing now, and without me, she has even more nothing. I want so badly to be her biological father because I love her, and as far as I'm concerned, even if the tests come back that I'm not her biological father, I feel that I am. Me and my daughter are so close that it's even better than being father and daughter. We are each other's best friend. I will always be there for her, regardless of the situation, even if it means me leaving my wife. And regardless of what my wife thinks, there is no way that anything ever happened with my daughter. Me and my daughter did not have sex. Me and my daughter did not produce a child. And my wife needs to be the one to hear that I'm going to be there for my daughter no matter what. And these accusations are exactly that, accusations, and they are not true to any extent. Well, I know people do this in the world, but I'm not one of them, and neither is my daughter.